Hey guys, it's Emerald Gossi here again, and we're here to show you how to properly clean out a sink. Now we're gonna come over here for our examining tools. And as you can see, these tools are very filthy. Right? Look at that. It's probably some burned soup or something like that. Look inside the sink. This sink is okay. Look at this one. Look. Look at that extra part. Look at that coming over there. I just want to teach you how to properly dispose of the extras. So first, let's start with cleaning dishes. So get the dish, right? Like this. And I'll this with this. And then move this bowl out of the way. Because if the bowl's in the way, you, it's not going to work out for it. So we're going to hand that to her and she's going to clean that so she can show you. You want to rinse it off like that. Put the plate on here, you want to grab it like that. Possibly you want to, somebody pass me the braille pad. What? Bro, that. Alright, so we're make sure all types of soup and everything else I can mold or do whatever gets off the spoon here and it's ladled. Roll pads here. Now, to be on the safe side, you always want to use soap. Because if you don't use soap, something bad can happen. You know what this drip. Now, this is Dawn soap. So, you don't want to use too much soap. Because if you use too much soap, if you use too much soap, it, it's gonna, or it's just too much soap. It, it comes out fast. Make little bubbles. Sometimes I like to pinch the bubbles. So, we're in the Make sure everything's clean here. You want to use warm water. You can use warm water while cleaning out soap. Soap can cause yeah, problems. Oh, uh, we then you get the ignorant people who just need dishes, but maids to clean up after. And that's that's Ray Rachel, a, everybody. Really? Ray Rachel. <laughs> How he actually is in real life. As seen in our Oh my god. <laughs> as seen in our last video. Ignorance. 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 There's no other word for it. They don't care for the people around them. No, so as you can see, look at that more So what he did was, he put the drain in there and he scooped all the pieces of noodles into the drain. But with the drain, he dumped it into the bag. Now so many back. noodles! So there were so many noodles. I want TV! Alright, so this is about right. So now, we have these clean items. So, you want to make a clean dish pile, but you want to make sure that it's not near the dirty dishes, of course. Really here. You go look at these pots. These pots look pretty clean to me. I'm pretty sure they're clean. Nice and rinsed out already. So you're going to just place them all in here. And you can organize them later on your spare time. So, now we have these spatulas here. Even if you see a little bit of a problem here, you want to clean it. Because safety comes first, right guys? Oh, and uh, as you can see from this match, this is something you do not want to do. It must have been on a, some plate for fire or something, and caught and it melted. So, I think that was awesome, making pancakes. So, obviously, they did a horrible job. Got yeah. it. It, it. It folded, did a bad job. Now, when you get a spatula like this, there's only one thing you can do with it. You're going to put this axe right back over here, and then you're going to see if you can just wash the spatula regularly, which you should be able to, you know. So yeah, there yeah, you have it. This is how you clean up, guys. Thanks for being up here. I'm Emerald Gossi, and we'll see you soon. Sure.